Hey everyone, it's Andy here. I've just had a great day. I hope you keep watching because here's my dinner. <laughs> Fresh prawns. I've already had fish for lunch, which I cooked on the boat. Uh, caught a bunch of fish. So yeah, keep watching and enjoy. It's, um, it's a, a really nice afternoon. Um, I'm going to head out of the creek, cook these little beauties up. Look at them, look at them. Woo, yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, actually not cook them up, ceviche, so they're pretty much going to be raw. Twitch, twitch, stop, twitch, twitch, stop. And that uh, makes it look like a really wounded fish. Yes! <laughs> Little barra. <laughs> oh, he's tiny. Oh, but that's cool. That is so cool. Oh, let's get this guy in and release him. I could just lift him in straight away, but I want him to tire himself out just a little bit. Just so that, um, yeah, it's, it's um, not, a, not a really live fish in the boat and he's looking a bit tired now. So, yeah, we'll get him in. Hey, little fish like this you can lift in, but once they get over about 50 centimeters, you don't want to lift him in like that. He's not a big fish. There you go. That's what I was warning. Warning. Settle down, fish. That's what I was warning about before. They look like they're all nice and placid, and then they just um, explode like that. Look at that. Hey. Oh, and that should have should have been interesting from the drone. I got that on the drone. That's pretty cool. Hey, off you go, little buddy. He's probably yeah, just under 50 centimeters. Boy. See ya. What I'm doing with the um, the spin rod here and the, the vibe, I'm, I'm just working the deep edges, like the, the contours. And then when I go up to a, um, a spot like that with the timber, I'll change to the um, the bait caster. Oh, there's a bit of a puff. Lots of fish feeding on these little jelly prawns. Yes, I got him. Blue salmon, I think. Blue salmon. Oh, he's a bit, bit small though. But that worked, that technique. We'll, we'll measure him, but I think he's a bit small. Let's have a look. He's definitely on the smaller side. It's tip, tip to tip. He's actually legal size. Oh. I think I will actually, yeah, we'll eat him. We'll make some little fish fingers out of him. Because um, that eye, that hook went into his eye. You can see that damage there. So, yeah, I think we will. Because it's always, measure fish is always tip to tip. And, yep, he's 42 and a half. So, sorry, buddy. But I'm going to have you for lunch. Nice. There's the lure I got it on, a Samaki Vibalicious, yeah, and now uh, I'm going to keep going for a little bit, I'm, I'm not quite hungry yet, so we'll fish a bit more, I actually heard some fish up the, um, bit further up, um, quite a bit bigger. If you want to check out the gear I'm using, um, I've got an Amazon shop, uh, I can highly recommend the Temple Fork Rods, I've used fly rods for a long time, but the warranty is amazing, uh, I just snapped a Shimano not long ago, and there's no warranty, and they don't have replacement parts, so be careful where you buy. Um, also, yeah, pen battle, uh, nice little reel. Um, I'm not going to give you a full synopsis on that, I'm only just starting to use that. But it um, feels nice and not too expensive. Okay, let's change the gear up a little bit. This is a Concept A, also bought off Amazon, and a shallow diver. Yeah, this setup is probably a little better for working around the snags. Just work it nice and slow. 
Oh, there's a barramundi. I can see his tail. Okay, he's, oh, he just took off then. Maybe he's still there. Oh, I scared him, bugger. I've just fished that, that really good looking spot there with nothing. And looking along here, I reckon those sticks could be, could be worth a go. Let's get up here a bit. Oh, yes. I was <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. I thought there might be something there. Oh, he's only a little fella. But yeah, just those little sticks is enough to hold fish. That's pretty cool. I know he's undersized, so I'm not going to worry about netting him or anything like that. I'm just going to get the hooks out as soon as I can. Hey, off you come, buddy. Out you come. There we go. He's a nice healthy fish. Very healthy fish. But definitely undersized. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a nice fish. When I use a a lure with three hooks on it, like this gold bomber. I use the lip grippers to hold the fish while I get the hooks out. Because if you try and get the hooks out and that fish jumps, he can yeah pin you really bad. Give it, get a rough estimate. Yeah, he's 51 centimeters. Very, very deep bodied fish. Very nice, hey. And uh, yeah, just those couple little twigs over there. That's um, that's all you need. Off you go, buddy. Hey, yeah. I think it's time to eat my threadfin salmon now. I'm just going to set up my stove on the boat. Just be careful if you're cooking on a boat you don't have fumes from, the, from your petrol. Set up nicely. And then I've got my little brag mat here. I'm going to put the fish on that and um, yeah, fill it. So we've got our threadfin salmon, or just threadfin they call them. We call them blue salmon sometimes. Just going to rip the fillets off him. Same as always. Make a little incision at the top. Make get rid of the scales. And just slice along the backbone. Won't show you the whole thing. But yeah, you can just um, yeah, go out in your boat, take a stove, take a frying pan. And um, yeah, cook up your lunch while you're out there. I plan on staying quite late today. I'm still hoping for some prawns. The tide, it's almost there. It's almost at the right height. Um, and then uh, yeah, once the tide's low enough, I'll get the cast net out, get some prawns, and hopefully have um, prawns as a as a sunset meal. That'd be very nice. I'm thinking ceviche, but I'm not sure yet. I'll see. There's um, some pin bones just here, so we um, we'll just go in under those, make a slot, make another slot above them. And that's the pin bones gone. Hold the skin, and the skin just comes right off like that, real nice and simple. Cut it down there, and we should have three pieces of lovely fish with the bones just falling out. Where are the bones? There's the bones. Bones are falling out. Three lovely pieces of fish. All right. So here's my crumb. I'm not advertising them or anything, but it's a uh, yeah, interesting tasty cheese. So my ingredients are salmon, threadfin, salmon, cheese, and oil. That's it. That's my lunch. So pretty basic. First job is to eat some of these chips. We don't eat all the chips in here, but mmm, 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 what a nice day. I've eaten about half the chips and the rest I'm going to leave in there and crunch up. There we go. Now it's up to you how big you want the pieces. Yeah, they're still quite big. Anyway. This is very simple cooking. So, piece of fish in the bag. Shake it around a little bit. Second piece of fish in the bag. Shake it around a bit. In the bag, in the bag, in the bag. And shake it around, give it a good 
upside down, twisty. Just get them all nicely coated. There we go. Now I, I always do that first before I heat the oil because the oil, oil in a light pan like that will just um, yeah get hot real quick. But I reckon I can do one of these cook-ups in less than about 10 minutes. Let's get this party started. There we go, that's on. Frying pan, nice quality olive oil. Give it a bit, give it a bit. There we go. It's about, oh, maybe three tablespoons. Oh, that's hot already. That's already hot. Let's just put that there for a second. See, that doesn't take long at all. Let's get the fish out, make sure. Yeah, that's coated. Okay, we're ready to cook. Look how fast this cooking is. It's just, just amazingly quick. There we go. And yeah, that, um, those little pieces of fish won't, won't take long at all. The other, the other half of the fish, the, um, yeah, I'm going to take that home and eat it at home. So, but look at that, that's, that's half cooked already. Yeah, I reckon that's almost, almost there. Fish actually doesn't take very long at all to cook. So, I'll just turn them over. Just let that one go just a little bit longer, that bigger one. Look at that nice golden crumb on the fish. Oh, delicious. I think they're ready to eat. That was about three minutes, maybe four. Yummy. Just while I let that, um, that fish cool down a little bit, it's um, yeah, still really hot. I like drinks with bubbles in them, but I hate buying plastic bottles. So I've got a soda stream, and I've got to be honest, this is great. I, I, at home, when I get home, I put them in, I fill them with water, I put them in the fridge, and then when I want them, they're ready to use, so I make up two or three of those before I go fishing. Oh, and there's nothing quite like um, cold bubbles. And I don't put that much flavour in. I put maybe one-fifth of what the, the recommended flavour is. So there's not a lot of sugar in there. It's actually it's actually not too bad for you. But um, here, let's, let's try some of this very, very nice threadfin salmon or blue salmon or yeah whatever you want to call it it's um it was swimming around two hours ago like I'm, I'm literally just stopping for lunch um I still want to go casting for prawns actually we'll do that I reckon straight after this um I just need a bit of energy a bit of food so let's try that look at that that is it's actually still very warm but mm, crunchy It's not the actual taste of the chips, mm, but it's nice. And I've left myself a couple of little chips, so I've got a little side dish. Anyway, I won't bore you with me eating. I'm going to finish this. We'll go straight over to where the prawns are, hopefully. Catch some prawns. This is, this is the plan. Catch some prawns. Put them on, in my esky. I've got a bit of ice in there. And then fish a little bit more, and then just as the sun's setting, we'll have a nice little little meal on the water. I think that sounds very lovely. And that's yeah, it's a beautiful afternoon. Mm. So yeah, we'll um, see you at the prawns. Black dot in the water. That's actually a barramundi's tail. Let's see if we can get a lure down in front of him. Hasn't moved. Still hasn't moved. He's just slowly gone down. Let's get that right next to him. It's right next to him there. No, didn't want. That's two barras that have just been sleeping. That's odd, very odd. Let's try lots of noise. Such a little guy and so angry. <laughs> I thought that was a much bigger fish at the start. Oh, did he hit it hard. <laughs> it's good to see little fish though, because it um, means they're recruiting. They're breeding. Oh, there you go, little fella. Come on, let you go, buddy. There you 
we go. Little barramundi. Hey, off you go. See ya. So I've just bought an Ahi cast net, again off Amazon, because we don't get this, um, it's like a drawstring cast net. And hopefully I can, I can show you catching some prawns with that. Uh, my other cast net's uh, huge, it's like 10 foot, and it keeps getting too much junk in it. So I'm, I'm hoping this is the way to go. Anyway, we'll see that soon. I get a lot of people asking me about crocodiles, and he's just about to go. I'll better show you. Oh, he's big, he's big. Where'd he go? Oh, I think he's gone. Bugger. That was a really big croc there. I can see he's just the ways. Actually, we might see his head actually. Turn you around again. Yeah. Not sure if I was fast enough with the camera there. Um, we'll have to have a look later on. And that is exactly where I was going to go with my cast net. Um, okay, we'll go we'll go a little bit further. But uh, I don't want to throw a cast net on a. He looked like about a three and a half to four meter crocodile. Um, yeah, big, big animal. Let's, let's go have a look at where his footprints are. Yeah, I can see his claw marks there. There's his claw marks. That's where he went up. So he went up a while ago, and we'll go over here. I'll show you where he went down. Right there. I'll get up a little bit high, and you can see it properly. That there is a crocodile slide. You can see the feet marks on either side. And yeah, the belly, belly, where he was laying. So and yeah, it looks like that's, there's other claw marks just here. So he uses that spot quite a lot. That's pretty cool. What I mean by a drawstring cast, and this is only a six footer, it's only short, but look at that, the top has a ring and it, it actually has these draw lines or draw strings. So it's actually my first time using one of these. I've, um, Never used a, a drawstring, and I'm going to try a different different cast too. I'm going to try with just my hands, not not use my shoulder. So this could be a little bit interesting. I did look it up to see how to do it. Let's see. There we go. First cast. Oh, I think I just did that a little too hard. And all those little things you see—they're actually jelly prawns. They're baby prawns. Okay, let's try this again. That's better. A little bit less energy. Let's see, I could. Oh, I can feel a big fish in there. What have we got? Is he still in there? There's some small prawns. Yeah, we do have some prawns. The fish is gone. You guys call them shrimp. We call them prawns. Hey, there's a couple there. Oh, there's a fish. Do we have him? Did he get stuck in the net? Oh, he's in there. What have we got? We have a mullet. Hey, mullet. So I don't want Mr. Mullet. I'm just going to let him go. There we go. Hey, he'll be good. Off you go, buddy. Yep, he's good. And some little gruntry thing. There we go. Hey, off you go, little buddy. Boo! Unless we get a few more prawns, dinner's going to be very slim pickings. I mean, I'll still eat them. Ready, set, and... Here we go. Oh, we have a fish as well, by the sound of it. Let's have a look what we've got. Yep, some more prawns. And there's a brim, another grunter, another brim. Alright. Yeah, you just lift the net up, and they all fall out. It's as easy as that. So here we have one, two, little brim, and they'll, they'll grow to be edible fish one day, hopefully. So what you're go. doing here is the, the prawns are few and far between, so I'm just covering a lot of ground, and I mean there are definitely a few in here, so I'm just I'm just poking my way further, further, further along. So that's that's the method at the moment. There we go. Oh, it's all right. It wasn't great. Oh, there he is. What are you? Some sort of fish? 
Actually, this is almost as exciting as fishing. Oh, there's some nice prawns. Let's get them in. Where's the fish? Was he in here? Lost him. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's cool. Black spot cod. Let's get these prawns out. So, yeah, this, um, this theory does actually work going further up. We'll put Mr. Cod back in the water first. Stop flipping around, hey? Okay? Oh, little black spot cod. Off you go. There he is. Get these prawns. So, it's definitely, definitely working. It's not, they're not monsters. They're not exactly going to be in a huge restaurant somewhere, but I'm going to make a restaurant dinner for myself. Oh, oh. Come here. Come on. We're at the end of where I want to go. And this will be the last throw. Yep, nice. Oh, lots of prawns in here. Lots of prawns. Come on out, buddy. Look at them all. Flipping around everywhere. Oh, there's got to be 12 prawns in there. Maybe more. Shrimp. Actually, they're more shrimp size than prawn size at this size. But look at them all. Oh, that's it. I'm eating tonight. Actually, I'm eating very soon. I'm going to um, go somewhere nice. So, everyone, I'm just going to pack this net away. I'm actually very, very happy with it. I wish I had got a little bit bigger one. Um, obviously, go to your local tackle shop first, but if they don't have these sort of nets, um, or if they've never even heard of them, uh, go on go on my Amazon shop. I'll, um, I'll put a bit of a note here on how much this one cost. This is a Series 200 Ahi cast net, and um, yeah, very happy with that. The the, um, the ten footer with the pockets just just got too much junk in it all the time. This thing I could throw all day long. Check these prawns out. All the shrimp, shrimpy prawns. Hey, that one's dead. There's a lot of them that are still alive. And, uh, yeah, I'll um, actually we've got to prepare them right now. Let me guess who's back. I've just finished prawning. And Mr. Crocodile's waiting to get back out of the water. Have a look. Oh, as soon as I talk, he goes under. Scumbag. He was he was sitting right there. I'll um I'll get another bit of footage of him for you. But uh, yeah, there was a log right there, and it's not there anymore. So that was him. Actually, we'll see if we can get him on the side scan. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and get in there, but that's him right there. Where's my finger? I can't even see my finger. That's him right there, that that line. So he was there. We just um, yeah, had a bit of trouble getting some footage of him. Found a nice bit of shade here, and the first thing I'm going to do with these prawns is top and tail them. That's what we call it. Now I'm just going to leave them as as pieces like that with the, um, the skin on, because that doesn't worry me. And they're only small, so I'm going to keep these for bait later on. And we'll just go through and do the do the whole lot. Top and tail, like that. Top and tail, like that. And then we get one full lemon and one full lime. And we squeeze all the juice. Actually, no, we'll squeeze half the juice in there. So half the juice goes in the bowl with the prawns. And the other half we keep. The thing with fresh prawns like that, like I've left the skin on. It's just protein. It's just meat, and uh, the skin of the prawn is actually—I think it's keratin. I, I could be mistaken. I'll, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, but it's actually good for you. So, mmm, salty, sweet. Not so much seafoody, more like a like a raw scallopy. Anyway, raw prawn. It's good for you. Uh, yummy. Now, what happens there is that the acid in the lemon and the lime will actually it doesn't cook the prawns it cures them it, it, it changes the protein so you might even notice that one's already starting to change color a little bit it'll they'll all go white so it's it's still eating raw ceviche but it's not um, nothing can survive in there so yeah it's all good so guys I've really limited what I've taken with me um, to get here because I've had to leave the boat in the creek and I've just come out on this headland. Um, it's better out here because there's no, no sand flies, no mosquitoes, and uh, yeah, it's just a really nice spot. Got my little setup right here. 
that's all the ingredients. The um, the prawns, yep, they've um, cured nicely. We'll have to get those seeds out. Seeds out of there. And then we'll chop up our other ingredients. Actually, we'll get rid of that juice. Ceviche is um, basically raw fish or seafood. I mean, you can have ceviche other things, but um, my channel's fishing, so it's seafood. There we go. A nice, ripe, fresh avocado. This is a uh, yeah, very, very basic cooking, very healthy cooking. Well, not really cooking, is it? And we'll get Mr. Tomato. We'll just dice him into a few, few chunks. As we'll throw the prawns in now. There we go. Oh, all of them. Prawns, shrimp, whatever you want to call them. Now the tricky one is the chili. I don't want to get the seeds. I just want the flavour of the chili. There we go. I'll get rid of all the seeds. Like I said, you know, I don't want it too spicy. This one. And the last seed. Come on, off you go. And then we'll just cut that into slivers. And then this I got out of my garden. It's actually a uh, Thai coriander. Really nice. It takes a little bit of getting used to, so so the young people out there might not like it so much. It really gives um, yeah meals a nice little hit of flavour. And again, we'll just roughly chop that. This is actually the um, the stalk or the flower. So yep, that goes in there. I don't like too much onion. I'll just get a little bit off that. There we go. That's enough for me. Take the skin off. And once again, just um, yeah, just sort of lots of flavour. Ceviche is flavour to me. Now we're pretty much done, but here's the lemon and the lime that we had left over from from marinating those prawns. And they're gonna go straight. Oh yeah. Actually. I've got salt and pepper. Where did I put that? Here we go. Extra flavour. Good quality pepper. A little bit of salt. There we have beautiful prawn ceviche. That's going to be very nice. So yeah, none of this was cooked. It's all fresh and healthy. A little bit hard to eat <clears throat> holding the, the camera at the same time. So you have to excuse me. Mm. Mm. And you know what? That skin that I left on, it's you can't even notice it's there. It's like a little tiny membrane, but man. Mm. Mm. Oh this is nice. Bit of chili in that one. Mmm. So nice being out here. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I do hope to do overnighters soon. I know people are asking for them. I, I want to do them. But YouTube doesn't reward me enough and I, I still have to work. So hopefully soon I can do um, YouTube more full time. So if you want to help out, please share, please like, please comment. Do all that stuff. Check out my older videos. Um, I'm only doing Catch and Cooks now. There's plenty of older videos that are catching cooks, um, and you always learn something. I always try and put a bit of knowledge in there. So, I'm going to keep eating this, <clears throat> and I'll see you next time. Mm. Very nice. Yeah.